We have less than two minutes left. I want to get into one last area with you. You surprised some people at the last Republican debate when you said that Saddam Hussein may in fact have had weapons of mass destruction when the U.S. invaded in 2003. Uh, let's take a look at what you said. Now everybody can look back and say, oh, well, we didn't find the weapons. Doesn't mean they weren't there. Just because you didn't find every Easter egg didn't mean that it wasn't planted. Governor, the uh, Iraq survey group uh, looked around Iraq for months after the invasion, could find no evidence that uh, Saddam Hussein had an active program, a WMD program, when he was ousted, any active stockpile of weapons. Uh, do you have any evidence for that contention? Oh, I don't have any evidence, but uh, he was the one who announced openly that he did have weapons of mass destruction. He was also the one who had used similar weapons in the past. I think let's remember, too, that both Democrats and Republicans and our intelligence agencies believed that he had them. Uh, my point was that, no, we didn't find him. Did they get into Syria? Did they get into some remote area of, of Jordan? Did they go to some other place? We don't know. They may not have existed. But simply saying we didn't find them, so therefore they didn't exist, is a bit of an overreach. And the bigger point is that at the time we went into the war, and that was really the question, uh, should we have gone in? If we had not have gone in and he had unleashed weapons of mass destruction, then everybody would be second-guessing the president and saying we should have taken action. The president was derelict in his duty. So it's, it's so easy. It's like sitting down Monday morning uh, at breakfast with your buddies and talking about why the quarterback of the NFL team didn't, get the winning play but you know what if you've been on the NFL field and you've taken a couple of hits from 300 pound linemen uh, it's a little I, I guess maybe a different perspective in uh, what you should have done so I think you, let's give the president some credit for taking action that he thought would in fact help America and Democrats agreed with him and now it's easy to second guess but I'm grateful that the president was willing uh, to take what actions he thought would make America safer. Governor Huckabee, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming in today. Always a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Thank you, Chris.